Of course, any solution to homelessness in San Diego will include heavy lifting by many nonprofits, among them the San Diego Rescue Mission. For decades now, the mission has been on the front lines fighting the problem. Now they're looking to expand beyond their downtown location in San Diego to other areas of the county. Here's CBS 8's Brian White. These are our uh, sleeping areas. Closet. Closet for my son, Avante. Venkateshwa Rao Vadlamudi, or VV for short, shows me the room where he and his son have been staying for the past year. This is my normal drawer. It looks stuffed. I put all my stuff in here. Avante turned eight years old a few days ago, and next month he's going into the third grade at Porter Elementary School. These, they were made from stamps and as you may know, it's also made of paint. 57-year-old Vivi remembers the feeling of comfort and security when he and his son first walked in the door here when they had nowhere else to go. You know, you feel that coziness and the security and some kind of a harmonious feeling. I had that feeling. He, along with 48 others, recently graduated the year-long program called Mission Academy. It's a holistic approach with supportive classes and job training. There's not a magic wand to this. It's good old fashioned hard work and they put in the work and our team uh, works really hard. Paul Armstrong is vice president of programs here and he says they just launched their Every Heart campaign with the goal of raising $5 million by the end of the year to renovate their facilities. What we know is environment matters and so when we can provide a quality environment for someone coming in off the street where they actually feel that they've been seen, valued, that they're being given, treated with dignity and respect, all of those factors, um, they feed into how we're able to be so successful. The fund raised will also help them expand across the county with a new navigation center in Oceanside opening later this month with 50 shelter beds and a new facility opening early next year in National City with over 160 shelter beds. The fact that we're able to bring shelter beds online is super exciting for us because we do want to be a part of the solution. As for Vivi, he's working on an associate's degree in cybersecurity and he's optimistic for the future. I'm not the old Vivi anymore. This is a new identity for me in my life. To help the cause, CBS 8 just presented a Tegna Foundation check for $7,500. If you'd like to contribute, just head to CBS8.com and click on the help button. I'm Brian White for CBS 8.